are a photography business based in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. I have been taking pictures for years just as a hobby. Uh, my family and friends tried to get me to go professional, however I shied away from that. But this year was my year. I was gonna take my dreams and run with them and I have to say I do not regret it. I absolutely love the feeling that it gives me. I love watching people leave my studio smiling and feeling confident. It's just absolutely amazing. Uh, we offer family, portrait, pets, and we also do small business branding. So if you would like to work with us, you can reach us at our website or give us a call. We'd love to work with you. Hot. Coming in hot. We're coming in hot. 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 Hey, Queen. Hey. Welcome to the Queen's Table where we grow and we glow together. Maintaining our crowns while supporting our sisters as well. Mm -hmm. And we promise to keep you entertained while always keeping it real. From one queen to another, adjust your crown and have a seat at our table. Sit down. <laughs> and don't touch nothing. <laughs> and don't touch shit. Um, so how was everybody's week? My week was weird, but that was partially because of the two of you. Why? What'd I do? How'd the week start out? Oh, you put, know what? I got to put poison control on speed dial. <laughs> <laughs> it is no longer boats and hoes. It is dicks and birds, apparently. Oh, God. Yeah. Yes, it's been a weird week. Sorry, guys. It has it's been, been a weird, a weird week. week. <laughs> sorry, I almost, sorry. I almost died. <laughs> but I'm not telling my story anyway. You're, she's not ready to tell her no, story. She's not still ready. traumatized. I am. <laughs> She's still I traumatized am. and doing with after effects. You never know. I still might have five months. I know. <laughs> Seven days. Yeah, we got to get our trip in before that, that time. We comes. have to because you never know. <laughs> you just never know what's going to happen. Dixon's here one day, going the next. Yeah, right. <laughs> no, just get it. Let I'm me stop. Get up. Get up. <laughs> We're not ready to go it yet. It's not time for that. Right. Wake your ass yeah. up. Yeah, it was yeah, definitely it was just, a weird it week. It was just a weird week. How yeah. was your week? Mine? Um, my week was full of self care. I was off a lot this week, so mm -hmm. I slept in a ton. Mm. Um, I cleaned my whole entire apartment. It felt really good. Like it smells so good. Mm. I washed my walls and everything. Ooh. Got a lot of uh hacks from TikTok on my mopping my floor and stuff. Okay. And it was a good week. It was That's a good week. Good. I did everything I needed to do for me. It felt like a reset almost. Yeah. Aww. Yeah. So Sometimes it was good. You just Need yes, that, yeah. Hell yeah. I'm, that's I'm self care time. I'm on a reset this week. I do self care for myself every damn day, damn near. Yeah. Now You're supposed to. It feels good. Yeah. It does. Mentally, it feels great. Yeah. Somebody pampering me, and it's me. <laughs> Surprise. It's me. <laughs> Fall in love with you and have somebody share you with you. Mm. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. That mm. sounds like a Bonnie fact. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. But it's not. It's a Vixen fact. I like that. Mm. Say it again. I can't. I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, fall in love with yourself. And when I look in the mirror, I'll be like, oh, I like her. She cute. Yep. She nice. And then get somebody to share you with you. Well, I don't have. We just talked about this on Say Less. We're going to leave that alone. Okay, well. Because they said my, my person's not on the dating app. I don't think there's the, any. No, there's nobody's person is on the dating nobody's app. Nobody's is on the dating app. There are successes. Oh, what, yeah. what dating app are you using? Be okay. Okay. I mean, she asked me a question. <laughs> I didn't They're know not paying us. Because some of them are right. like, if you're on Christian Mingle, like that's, you know what I mean? Like, I told y'all, I'm just going to find an Amish man. Jebediah, I'm coming for you. I think there's dating sites for them. So I'm just really? going to go shopping at the grocery store as much as I can, and hopefully I find somebody mm -mm. in the aisle. Groceries is expensive. Then you spent all of that money. No, for I nothing. could go for a candy bar. A candy bar? Candy bar. Then you're no. not in there long enough. What, we you going to walk around her, and... Yeah, walk around and act like I'm lost. Cowboy. Yeah, Russell Wilson doesn't live in Lancaster, mm -mm. and he's married, so... Mm -mm. No, we need to get you a cowboy. That's my cousin. Really? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Wilson. Uh, Wilson. Mm -mm, mm -hmm. But a lot happened this week. Yeah. A lot has happened. A ton happened. happened this week. Um, What happened first? Line it up. Oh, my goodness. So we got a couple just to get out of the way. We wanted to give a congratulations to Benifer for getting engaged again. Again. So congrats to Jennifer. Who gives a damn, really? But yeah. 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 Right? <laughs> she got a lot. She, she is ready to she recharge. He says she got more rings than Kobe. She got a lot of She's going to recharge the universe in three, two, yes. 
one. Right. Recharge that shit. I'm here for it. We have Chris Brown had a new baby this week. What? I well, that was my reaction. The baby where? is not a newborn. The baby's about a couple like months, three old. months old. Yeah. How old is his little boy? Didn't he have that well, was my reaction. I don't know if he had a son or a daughter with it's a, a dog. Girl. Uh, oh, the girl that looked like Karuchi. Yeah, he, he had I he had a little had boy. A, a little yeah, boy with a her. Little boy. This is a little girl. So the little girl is to his fling. And the baby, my mom, is Ouch. not feeling that. So, yeah. yeah. But congratulations to Chris Brown. Yeah, congratulations. Because babies are blessings regardless. Yes. And she's That's adorable. Wow. He kept that quiet, though. I was, yeah, hell he yeah. Just, he he just confirmed it yesterday because the, like, the girl came out and posted the picture and all that. And he confirmed mm. it. So. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I hope his girlfriend found out before Instagram did. I think so. she, That's I mean, she probably did. She I don't think he did. would crush her like that now. Yeah, there's a, that, that That's would be so disrespectful. That would be very out. disrespectful. Yeah. I don't, could y'all have, could y'all stay with somebody who had a baby on you? No. No. Yeah. I, I've had that happen, no. It's too permanent. Absolutely not. Yeah. Yeah. Too permanent. Yeah. Yep. I can't get Damn, that. Breezy. Breezy, breezy out here breezy. shooting up breezy. all the club. Yeah. Okay, baby Nick. Mm. Show him what that cannon like. And we have Bruce Willis, unfortunately, is retiring from, from his Hollywood. Hollywood. Yeah. yeah. He has been diagnosed with aphasia, so. That's sad. Yeah. It's sad, but it looks like he's happy. I that picture so. they posted this yeah. week, he looks super happy. Mm-hmm. Him, like, people like him and Will Smith, too, who we're going to talk about shortly, um, they've done a lot. Like, yeah. if I was them, I'd be like, I've done enough. Like, mm-hmm. that's cool. Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm good. My kids are good. Yeah. Yep. My kids' kids are going to be great. You know I, what I mean? I just... Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, I think I'd feel the same way. Mm-hmm. He seems like that. T- I mean, he just did eight new movies last year. We're still waiting for some of his newest movies to come yeah. out. So it's like I feel like he still was very much like in the midst of his drive and mm-hmm. wanting to keep acting. And so I know that's got to be a beautiful yeah. thing for him. For sure. So but prayers, prayers out to Bruce. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mr. Willis. Yes. Those are my little basics. Yeah. Get off the table real quick. Yeah. Yes. So, um, I guess we're going to talk about Jada Pinkett. Oh, um, your favorite. I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't really like talking about her. But anyway, she <laughs> made a tweet. Well, not so much a tweet, but she came out and she said she does not condone what Will Smith did. And she is not a woman that needs defending. She I just don't... still throw like she just like keep on throwing her man. And she also came out and said that she cried the whole way down the aisle when she was getting married to Will Smith. Mm-hmm. It was because she him. was pregnant. So you think this is a fine time to come out and start saying this stuff when your husband is going through a mental break, ma'am? I just think that at this point, I mean, they can, I don't really care for the, the union at all. Me neither. It's, um, but my thing is this too, like it's theirs. If it works for them, that's fine. Like what they eat don't I make don't me think, shit. I really don't but think I don't like the fact that she's publicly going against her husband right. at one of his weakest moments. Yeah. When he stood there and destroyed. He did that for you. Yes. Mm-hmm. So for now you. you're like that. I don't like that. I don't yeah, like that. That's just. First, I mean, the first I always. She, got, she throws him under the bus. I feel like marriages are supposed to be a united front. Like mm-hmm. I'm a ride with you, but when we get in the car, I'm gonna tell you some stuff. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. I'm a, I'm gonna check you in yeah, private, yeah. but in public, nah, I'm all for my husband yeah you and can't that's that's hurtful and and they banned will smith for 10 years 10 years from the oscars which i wouldn't I think be is, mad at that that I, should look boring anyway yeah i mean my only thing i feel like the only reason that it was extreme because a lot of people don't realize this because it didn't it didn't happen when any of us were alive but this isn't the first time there's been an incident like this with mm-hmm, the oscars mm-hmm. Yep. And that punishment wasn't the same. Nope. There was an actress. It was in the 70s. She was Native American. And she got up. She won the Oscar. She was giving a speech about how she wants Hollywood to stop dehumanizing indigenous people and, you know, portraying them in a certain light. That was a big time for, like, Westerns in mm-hmm. movies and mm-hmm. stuff. Clint Eastwood and John Wayne both had to be physically restrained as they tried to get on stage to beat her up. What? Yes. It and happened in 1976. Woman. Not even that long before we were born. To beat her up. They yeah. were trying to fuck her up. They, yeah. John Wayne had to physically be restrained and removed because he was trying to get to her because he didn't like what she was saying. So this isn't the first time there's been something like this at the Oscars. Clint Eastwood got to keep coming. Mm-hmm. You but know, he didn't. John Wayne didn't get That's banned. the thing. Maybe it's because they didn't actually get up there. They might have received. They, they should have got some punishment. Yeah. Something should have happened, happened, but I also think that it's trash because security should have been there. 
Mm-hmm. He shouldn't have been able to do that. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. He should I feel like have. it's almost encouraged a little bit at these award shows, though. I mean, we saw ever since Kanye got up and interrupted Taylor Swift. <laughs> you know, it's like it's almost like they want that chaotic moment that right. everybody's going to talk about until for the it next actually happens, and, and, and then, then they it's get that and, punishment. Yeah, yeah, then they get the punishment. Yeah. See, but the Oscars, like I said, I don't. I mean, in ten years, he's still going to be putting out masterpieces. So yeah. But Jada Pinkett was just on the red carpet um, on the ninth and by herself at an event. Maybe he was busy. Or he's he, in rehab. Yeah, is he, he in rehab? rehab he's in rehab for anger management. Yeah, okay. He's in a rehab center. I feel like that's a cop out. I feel like that's such a Hollywood move to make. You know, every time somebody, it used to happen a lot. Like every time somebody would get in trouble for something, oh, I'll just go to rehab. It's better know? that than jail. Well, he yeah. did. He and did. And it looks good when you go in front of the judge because apparently Chris Rock said he ain't talking about this shit until he gets paid. Well, he, yes. he he's doing a civil lawsuit. Is he? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he already consulted with attorneys, so he is doing a physical, um, a a lawsuit, a civil suit. But I, there's no legal charges being filed. Yeah, you know, <clears throat> I mean, he deserves to be paid. That was kind of embarrassing. It I was. Agree. It and was. For, like we had talked about last week, you know, he has his own issues. He's dealt with bullying. He's dealt with being jumped. He's dealt with. We don't know what kind of. I would kind of, but his, I would take the Chris Rock disorder. route now. That's my thing now because, or the Cardi B route. Like, people mm-hmm. are talking about you saying things you don't like. Mm-hmm. Hit them where it hurts. Mm-hmm. Your fucking pockets. You know right. what I mean? Because a lot of these people are walking around here with nothing to lose. I'm not fighting with nobody like that. Yeah. I, I honestly think that Will Smith got to the point where he needed to actually stand up because he was being called. Well, he actually did come out with a, a video where he was saying he was tired of being called a coward. And he felt the need that he he needed to stand up and do something in front of everybody to prove that he was not a coward. But I don't think that going up on a stage and slapping Chris yeah, Rock I smacked was the, the reporter, and they still called you a coward after that. Yeah, I think you know. It's more important to evaluate what made you look like a coward in the first place. His wife, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I think that it's about time for. A in divorce and I don't, I I don't really mean, say yeah. that in or they need to marriage, sit down and figure it but the even fuck if out. it's an open marriage it's still a lot of disrespect like there's a lot of open yeah, marriages like no and people will actually love each other within their open marriage like mm-hmm. she she blatantly says in front I can't of every, believe she, she said that she cried the whole way down the aisle she yeah. did she she cried the yes. how embarrassing yeah. yeah and why would you even come out with that right now because like, she's trying she's trying to separate herself from the situation She's true because she saw a lot of people starting that debate online after it happened, who was right, who was wrong. A lot of people came out and said, Mm -hmm. oh, well, he's defending his wife. You can't separate you from that situation. He did that because of you. Right. All those people that I saw a week ago, like, oh, he was just defending his wife after she came out and was like, I didn't agree with his behavior. You know, we talked about it. He knows it was wrong. Mm -hmm. I never wanted to. Once all that, they were like, fuck Jada. It was trending I mean, on Twitter it, this I mean, week. it cancel Jada, not Will was tw- trending on. It Twitter. was like that She's for me in the beginning, but it was still fuck point. Jada, and it still is fuck Jada now. I, I can't. Just, I, I can't. Mean, I don't like saying fuck people and stuff like that. But but yeah. she's very uh, manipulative. Just, she's very like. I can't believe she didn't have his back after that though. Exactly. Like that joke was about you. He did it because you were upset. Yeah. How can you not have his back? Like, mm-hmm. where's the support for your I, marriage I for your husband? I feel like she she is such an. I feel like she's an attention whore, honestly. She mm-hmm. does whatever's keeping her name in the headlines because that's money in her pocket. Yep. You know? And whether it's to the detriment of this man. Red Table Talk's or, not enough. Is is that show even still on? It's know. coming back on, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, People are going to watch it because she's in the headlines exactly. so much. They're going to want to see exactly. what she says next. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Wow. So, so again, that's just money publicity in her pocket. Publicity stunt much. It's a publicity stunt. I don't think it's a publicity stunt on his part, but I think she's manipulate manipulative. She said that he can't talk people. about it until he talks mm-hmm. about it on the red table. Mm-hmm. So bring me all the ratings, mm-hmm. even though I don't support what you did. Mm-hmm. So I can bring you on here and tell and people you and say it in people. front of your face mm-hmm. and Will, tell them I don't support. If if you decide you want to watch the Queen's Table, um, you can bring you me on the red table talk with you, and we can talk to Jada together. Or okay. you can just come here and talk, and we can yeah, just talk. Yeah, we'll talk. You got a gray table? At this point, <laughs> at this point, he might need representation because I feel I like so. he doesn't, he stands up to all the wrong people. He needs to be yeah. standing up to his wife. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Just like she publicly, like, she's publicly embarrassing him mm-hmm. at this point, and that is sad. I think it's sad yeah. that he's going out like that. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm Will Smith deserves somebody who puts some respect on his name. 
wife's his wife should be proud to have him. I agree. So would you go above and beyond for your partner? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely, because I want that in return. Yeah. As lo- as long as they're deserving of it. Yeah, if I'm but yeah. if they're not deserving, they then don't deserve to be partner. your partner. You yeah. know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I would do that because I would want somebody to do it to me and I can't mm-hmm. ask for what I'm not giving. Mm-hmm. And I think above and beyond is in the little stuff. Too. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. not about going out and buying me brand new bags right. or doing that. That's that's not what I go above and beyond in the little shit. Remember my favorite ice cream when you go to the store. You know, remember to bring me Popeyes. Yeah, like remember my favorite food or or my favorite flower and just randomly like that kind of little shit. Mm-hmm. That is what does it for me. So what about them going above and beyond in the beginning to get you and then stop when they? Got you. I told I just so mad. <laughs> I just said it on say less. It's the first three months. Mm. That person will tell you and sell you the moons and the stars for the first three months. You don't know who they are until after that. Right. Then they start showing their true colors. Mm-hmm. What you did to get it, you need to do to keep it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But a lot of people lose sight of that because time is going on. People change, lives get busy, things get shuffled around. Sometimes kids are involved, you know what I mean? And they have to come first. But I think you should always make time for your significant other just to make them feel special, like, all the time. Make me fall in love with you every day. I agree. My mom used to always tell me when we were kids, she'd be like, I love you, kids. She was like, but you're not first. She used <laughs> to always tell us that. She'd be like, my marriage is first. Mm-hmm. She said, you guys are good. She was like, you're well taken care of. You're fine. She was like, but if my marriage isn't good, then our family's not good. Right. Facts. If, if this isn't okay then we're not okay for you. Mm-hmm. Right. And then you're not going to be okay. She mm-hmm. always says, she was like, you have to put the priorities. That's not to say that you leave your kids in the dust, but you have to put a priority <laughs> on your Poor on kids. Your fuck them kids. Like, no, I'm just yeah. Poor I mean, kids. It, it, you know, it was the 80s. It was, <laughs> fuck them kids. Like, it really was. No, nah, it was Diamond Tap season. My it mom was, used to put Diamond Tap I mean? in our Kool-Aid like, and we shit. We were more independent back then, but... I just I agree with that to an extent. I mean, your kids obviously need to come first, but you have to always make sure you put that priority on your marriage because if you're if you want it to last, you got to keep putting work in. <laughs> you have to. Speaking of kids coming first, mm-hmm. there was know. there was a a gentleman that went on a date with a woman, and she wanted him to pay for extra plates to take home to her kids. First of all, why? <laughs> First of all, <laughs> it's your story, so tell it. <laughs> We're going to dinner, and your kids ain't eat yet. You shouldn't even be outside. I think the same thing. Like, what you got What's the wrong with you? What were they going to eat if I told you? If I would have said no, I don't think like, the plates were for them for real, for real, like, because they want to. Well, she want two extra plates. She wanted pride. Two. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. What's she going to do if they really weren't for her kid? And it was her first. It was this was a first date. This was a first. Where'd they meet at? Did it say? He said that they went. They went to a nicer restaurant. He said the bill was like over a hundred dollars for like the two of them. They went to a nicer restaurant. He was like the date was going well. They were having good conversation. Like everything was flowing. She hit real you nice. with the okey doke. He goes to pay the bill, and she was like, "Would you mind?" Paying for two more meals for me to take home to my children. Absolutely. He said no. <laughs> he said no, and then she got upset, and then the date was pretty much cut. Did he record her? Point. No, he didn't. Damn it! Why am I think? How you gonna get mad? Because I'm not buying food for your kid. I'm not their dad. Because she's I she's. I haven't even yeah. met them yet. How do I know that you really have kids for real? You're right. What if right. you wanted yeah. them? Yeah, plates? I think I think she you wanted to take lunch some for plates Monday to, and Tuesday. Yep. I'm thinking about, like, all right, normal date time. Her lunch box. Yeah, she needed lunch for the yes. next two days. Like, normal date She probably don't like get seven, paid till Wednesday right? and, and couldn't. Yep, yep. I she get it. She, she had the rack up. up. She, she you you not no low. Groceries. You not low. We on to you. But that's I bullshit. I somebody that used to do. Did it work? <laughs> she ran out of her stamps. Yo, Look, she let me. used to do that. I swear to God. She didn't even have kids. But she. <laughs> Yo. Yo, God, Why did she just take the plate? appetizer? You know what I'm saying? Because like, I don't want to eat that. She used to take that plate off. She'd be like, I was hungry. I don't, I don't feel like going to the grocery store tomorrow. Yo, that is hilarious. That's why yeah. I'm not you know doing what? that. I, I would feel so like awkward to sit there and say, you know what? Can I? Can you pay for two extra plates? I just, like. I don't. Me after I have a hard time ones. accepting stuff from people anyway, so yeah. it's bad enough that I, I kind of feel to like, oh, you want to buy my food anyway? And then, I, I wouldn't even have the nerve to ask that question. I, you know what? She probably she, it, she probably would have been better off asking for her. Like, just say I need extra plates for to, like, to you, you know. Mean? I'm gonna do that you, on my next you date. Mind? I'm gonna just, just do it. Just like, see what he's just, gonna say. Yeah, like, just do the experiment. Next day, yeah. next first take your day. I'm like, can you buy my kids a meal? 
Well, they're like, wait a minute, you don't even have kids. And they're like, gonna say, just you, I thought you didn't I have any kids. I'm going out with nobody I'm not interested in, girl. <laughs> I'll do. I'll do it because I actually got kids. Yeah, do it. See I'll do say. it. I'll do it. Take one for the team. I will. See what they say. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> there was another date thing that happened this mm-hmm. week. So there was a guy who went on a date. Was it a first date, right? Yes. And he brought his one month old child. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Listen here. And she recorded him sitting there burping the baby. Did the baby was adorable. I don't give a fuck. She got her dinner. She, she got her. Yeah, she, she got her dinner. Groceries. But she said she he's sitting there burping the baby and the baby's looking up like this. And she's like, I can't believe he brought his one month old baby on. The First of all, you got one month old. Where's the mom? Where's the mom? Yeah. Why like, you not wearing? It's really her? early. I don't even think you were supposed to be like taking a one month old. With no first mask, of all, cause like the, and because the mom, like, first of all, that's technically within your four to six weeks. Yeah, I didn't so you should have still like been home. Mm-hmm. Oh, and do you know that I would have beat him the fuck up if you took my baby yeah, on a date? On a date, yep. That's I mad. Mean, you know what it probably was? She probably wasn't able to have sex yet. So you, how you gonna have sex? How you gonna have sex? You brought the baby. He was probably gonna leave the little. We gonna leave the little baby in the car seat. Yep. That's how dudes be doing sometimes. <laughs> I would beat my baby's dad the fuck Yo, up. I would and I don't too. even do violence anymore, but I would choose violence that day. I ran yeah. up on my baby dad with Ming Ming in the car seat once. I sure did. And he had did. a bitch? He was at Rainmakers. Oh. Oh, so you brought your baby I'm to do sorry. the rundown? <coughs> was I not allowed to say So you brought your baby to I'm do sorry. the rundown? Huh? You brought your baby to do the rundown. I mean, you didn't I, have I, no sitter. I didn't have no babysitter, and I wanted to dig in the ass, dig in somebody's ass. <laughs> she was, she was sleep. She was sleep. Yo. So, <laughs> y'all, they, you're, you're, why his boy sneaking out the back door though? <laughs> I'd have been waiting on the side. <laughs> you funny, funny. Yeah, I'm not doing no rundown with my baby uh-uh. now. There I don't. Was, there was another one this I, week sorry. too that I saw. I know. What are we doing? <laughs> there was another one I saw this week too, and this one actually I I thought was kind of creepy. What happened? This woman had a Tinder date, and I guess she told the guy like my babysitter canceled something whatever. He she was gonna have to cancel the date, so he was like, oh no, that's cool. Bring the kids with you. No. And this was a first date. Her video, this TikTok, was her sitting at the table, and he's like hanging, chilling with. The, first date to me that that was you don't need to meet flag. my kids that's, and why are you so anxious to why are you so because he probably likes children uh-huh that was my first thought you gotta be careful yeah i would never like, i would never how about this week you guys saw i guess there was a picture of north sitting on pete davidson's lap uh-huh. i didn't see that how do y'all feel about that no that's a big well, no yeah, no they were they were in a golf cart i guess they were like riding around or whatever mm-hmm. and she was like pretend driving the golf cart so like he was sitting uh uh-uh. uh. Um, he was sitting there in the driver's seat, and she was like sitting on his on his lap while he was driving. No. Flashback. I think I think any Mm-mm. non-family member. I mean, there's the Mm-mm. most family members. Even the family even members. Feel, your daughter yeah, does not belong in. Your daughter doesn't mm-hmm. belong in any man's lap unless no. you're her father. Yeah. No. I, even, I, I would give it to a grandfather, grandfather too. Yeah. yeah. Or even an uncle. But no, like my brother, uncle, like not the yeah, cousin that's not, older, yeah, so yeah. he's the uncle. No, no we're not doing, we're that. Not doing yeah. that. I don't want my daughter to get in the habit of being in anybody's no. lap. Right. My only thing with the situation, though, because I saw a lot of people commenting online and they were like, oh, yeah, I don't let my daughter sit in her father's lap. And that's fucking disgusting. That made me mad because I feel like you're the one that's trying to sexualize the situation. Right. Yeah. It's just a daughter sitting in her daddy's lap, like yeah. cuddling up. Yeah. 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 Hug, yeah. And you're the one that's trying to make something sexual out of that. Like, you, we shouldn't be trying to put that into our kids' mm-hmm, heads mm-hmm. to make every every scenario that we see from an adult perspective. We don't need to put that on. Normally, them. when somebody does that, that's their own trauma. That's their own shit. Yeah, mm-hmm. but True. still, like it just. I I honestly think it's kind of cringy. I, I I yeah. I can't say I would. No, I'm not tolerating that. We not sitting on nobody's lap. You can sit no. on my lap. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Come sit on your mama. Because yeah. he ain't it. But I'd people, to yeah, that's shit. too soon. I'm not bringing yeah. my kids on no fucking date yeah. Especially with a man. A yeah, first date, yeah, like, you know what I mean? What if he would have tried to kidnap you? Mm-hmm. Now you and your kids goners. Gone. Yeah, you don't know who this man is. And we hear all kinds of crazy shit about Tinder. People, something's always happening with somebody going on a date off of Tinder. Mm-hmm. You know? And I still want to meet the swindler. I bet you do. Yeah, I, I do. Wanna, I want to be swindled for a day. I'm just not giving I you I want to meet the Tinder swindler. Do you really? 
I want, you I want lessons. I want lessons. <laughs> you want to be flued out. <laughs> you be my mentor? I if want lessons. Be, like, how to do it, sir? Out, every step of the way. Every step, let me know. If you want to be flued out, just say that. <laughs> I want to be flued out all the way <laughs> out. I hear that. You want to be all the way out. Here. So, how do y'all feel about Megan? Ooh, Megan good. I understand her right now. I get it. I get Ela- it. Come on, let me. Let I get I, it I need, I need to know. I need no, to know. I get it completely. Yeah, I, I completely I, Why do you get it? Something had to have happened in that marriage that we're not aware of. I know from my experience and my friends' experiences, when you run so far in the opposite direction of the man that you've just been with, there was something traumatizing there. I did that when I came home from jail. I dated a white boy. I went on three <laughs> dates with a white boy. Like... I get it. I get it. You ran in the complete opposite direction of what you had just been with. So something happened there. Something happened there we don't know about. I think but that. But I, I get it. I, I don't understand it. I think that it kind of makes her look fake. And I say that because I, her, I was thinking the same. I say that because her and her husband were so hard on religion. Like they anything were. that came out of her mouth was almost a Bible verse. I never believed you. That. Never saw her. She was not the Megan Good that we saw coming up. You know no. what I mean? So now you were just Christian yesterday preaching the Bible, and now today you're dating an atheist. Like mm-hmm. I always felt like. So you gonna do whatever the man in your life is doing? Yeah. I think that's. I think that's well, what it is. I always said once I get married, I'll be I'll settle on a football team. <laughs> that's different. Religious. And if you that I mean, that's <laughs> okay. that's kind of different. Not but okay. I'm not. I mean, it's kind of the same. <laughs> that is, it is that just the same. to me, is a little bit. To me it kind of <laughs> it just kind of to me means that like that's like kind of shallow have her own identity. Right. Yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah, like you yeah. don't have your own identity and you're yeah. willing to conform yourself to mm-hmm. anything that a man wants just to have that man. Just to please him. I'm but not he was changing kinda, myself. I, I don't give a fuck what he looks like. I'm not changing myself for you. And it's too uncomfortable to not no, be No, I mean, I mean, he looked he looked like he there like there's something wrong upstairs. Like he looked like he, he kind of off. I th- thrown I, off. I, yeah. Place. I think that he was borderline attractive, but I just I'm still not changing myself. It's too mm-hmm. uncomfortable well, to not, not be me. You're not Yeah, you're not supposed to change yourself. For myself and my views, my values, I would never be able to date an atheist. I mean, I can date anybody of any, but that is just your, our beliefs are too far off. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's, you don't believe in God at all. So and how does, yeah, how that's, does that even work? But you like, know what? That's, that's, that's just kind of weird it. in a relationship. People you know? do, we as women, I feel like, I can't speak for everybody, but I know when I'm in a relationship, I do kind of change. I can't say it's for the worst, but I just I kind of conform. You're saying like, no, I don't conform, but I just like the way I carry myself kind of changes. You know what I mean? Just out of respect to us to a certain yeah. extent. Yeah. So I guess thing, is that the same or is that different? No, that's no, not. No, okay. You just like I mean, when you're single, you can do what you want. You're free when you're hot girl summer loading. Yeah, like when you're in sundress a season is upon us. Hot pink like a lady. Yeah, like that's just respectful. I cannot wait. And I, think I mean, I carry outside. myself like that anyway for the exactly. most part. Exactly. But I think when you go into a relationship, every time you meet somebody, every time you start dating, you're going to get introduced to their interests, to their hobbies, to the Mm -hmm. things they like. So you're going to get exposed to other stuff you weren't before. You might find something new that you like. I don't think that's Not a football team, though. Nah, you better pick a fucking team. I do got a team. Who is it? It's the Seahawks. Well, no, not anymore because he's not with them no more. So I don't know who the hell I'm going to be with now. Be quiet just because you're a wacky ass New York Giants fan. We're just gonna make you a Giants fan. No, moving forward. Uh-uh. <laughs> Look, I don't even. I, I, we're not gonna talk about football right now. Your team doesn't have a name. Yes, we do. You just yes, we're co- the, we're the, the Commanders. The Commanders. The the, the, round, the Power com- Ranger Commanders. We're the Commanders. <laughs> but the thing about it is, I'm kind of stuck now in limbo Commanders Unite. I don't agree with the organization completely, and I also don't agree with all these name changes. I feel like it's fucked up that we had to change our name, and there's still other teams out here that have names that are that could be considered offensive. Yeah, Aww, I think it's bullshit. True. I have I have Redskins stuff, I have Washington football team stuff, and now I'm supposed to go get Commander stuff. Like, get the fuck out of here! I'm not gonna keep. I know, like the L.A. Rams. What was the purpose of the temporary Isn't that offensive? name? That's offensive the temporary name, name was because when we went to decide on the names, what they did was they put out a list of all of the options that they were looking at, uh-huh. and this asshole in Maryland trademarked every single one of them. So we had to go back to the drawing board and figure out a new name and be super hush hush about it. 
So they picked it was that genius. was fucking genius. It was genius, but now at the end of the day, you got all these names, and what the fuck are you going to do with them? He didn't even It's not like we paid one. him for one. All you got to do is go get the website. You know what I mean? It's not like we paid him for one, though, so now you exactly. got all of them for what? Uh-huh. I guess, but we didn't pay him for none. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you get the websites. Mm. Uh-huh. And then they got to buy it. I guess. Not into That's it. Not here for it. <laughs> Hated it. <laughs> High key ghetto. Aww. But yeah, I, I get I get Megan. I understand why she's dating the opposite direction. I think there was probably something. I don't that get on. it. I just can't find anybody to date. But I mean, I guess I gotta move to Hollywood. No, no wrong place. To expand your. Everybody's horizon. dating each other. Like maybe. How big do my horizons have to get? Well, we we gotta go. We gotta go to like the Grand Canyon and just you go. You push no people people out there. Me. It's the desert. Who, there's no people exactly. There. That's where you find them. First of all, it's hot. That's like the hills have eyes. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. Y'all saw me on the hike. You want to take likes, me to the desert? She likes the people yes, with. She likes the people with the disabilities. <laughs> no, not anymore. Not oh. anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> I've been delivered. <laughs> I've been delivered. To, I no longer go after men with disabilities. <laughs> nope, oh. not anymore. Oh. I'm not. I don't discriminate though. I do. But you I want a guy that rolls down the hills? <laughs> no. I don't. I mean, if I could sit on his lap, what's the weight limit? Stop. What's the weight limit on the chair? On the chair? On the chair? You said he rolls down the hill. Not a wheelchair. Oh, I was like, what's the weight limit on the chair? Cause that, <laughs> that looked kind of fun. Sounds lit a little bit. Let's get you a scooter. I need a helmet. Oh. I'm going to get a helmet. Yeah. yeah we, we still got them helmets helmet. in the office? <laughs> Yo. We still got them helmets? Yeah. Oh, ne- bike, next away. show we're going to wear helmets. No, fuck, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm not. But yeah, I, I get yeah. Megan. I I don't get it. She looks. She's making herself look kind of crazy. Yeah, I don't get it. She, maybe she's just going through a phase. I don't think I that think that's, that's gonna stick. I don't no. think she's gonna stay. So with was him. her Christianity no, a phase? But my no, her Christianity, and that's my thing. What are her beliefs? See, but okay, here's uh, when she and and not to judge her, she very well may be deeply into her faith. But when it, she started going down, that I felt like that was fake in that moment. I felt like in that moment you were conforming for this man. Mm-hmm. Maybe now she's going back to her roots. <laughs> Maybe now she's going back See, to her. But my thing is, I also my other question is, why are you putting it out there so soon anyway? You just got yeah, divorced, like, and this is the first man that you're publicly putting yourself out there. Where your divorce, your ink is not dry yet. Yeah. Exactly. Maybe I mean maybe they were working together. Mm-hmm. On what? <laughs> <laughs> nah, on Hulu. We're gonna have to watch and see if this guy's a, a, a if actor or something. Let's see if he stays. So question. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why are men taught how to treat women, but women are not taught how to treat men? Are we going to get into it? Yes. <laughs> we don't have to dissect that. Yeah. <laughs> so do you guys really think that men are taught how to treat women? No. No. I think that they are, but they're taught by their mothers. But it's a lot of grown men walking around with mommy issues. Mm-hmm. I, Tons so of how I think taught. that there may be a role model in their life at a young age mm-hmm. that that probably can show them how to treat a woman. But I don't think the generation now knows how to treat a woman i think it's situational because it all depends on what you grew up seeing like right because if you grow up seeing some fuck shit that might teach you how not to treat women like you might learn what not to do or Mm -hmm. it could have the other effect and like that's all you know like i feel like everybody has a toxic relationship once in their life Mm -hmm. because without toxic relationships you wouldn't know what the good ones are supposed to look like Mm -hmm. so i don't know i feel like Cause like you guys said, a lot of us aren't, a lot of people aren't raised right. I can't say me. I was raised right, but I still learned relationship wise yeah. things mm-hmm. that I would never do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't say that I want to really a relationship like anybody I've seen growing up. Yeah. I definitely don't. Honestly, I, I can't like, I saw, I mean, I, I got a mix of them. Um, but between my family and my friends, like everybody we grew up with, I think there was maybe three divorces in the whole place. I don't have everybody was but married like 30. 40, I feel like marriage years. is a it can be a lot of unhappiness. It absolutely can. It's I'm not somebody, saying they were like somebody's marriages. making a sacrifice <laughs> and in every relationship. One person I feel like is making a sacrifice. Mm-hmm. That's just how I look at it, There's always somebody that is which is why marriage is kind of scary. 
it's, it sounds, yeah. it's really scary for me. I, I'm scared to death to. I, I have mean, commitment I, issues anyway. I mean, I, it's something that I, I always wanted. I always yeah. wanted to be married. Why, but though? Because I I grew up in a married household. My mom and my dad were married for 21 years mm-hmm. before they, bef- well, they're still married, but they're s- not married. Anyway, um, <laughs> yeah. I'm, so just, I'm I, just saying. Yeah, I know. <laughs> So, um, come home, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I always, I always name. wanted that, <laughs> but I didn't, like I, I, I wanted the marriage, but I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> why'd you do that? I just, I don't know. My grandparents have been married for why 60 the years. Fuck did you just do that? <laughs> My grandparents have been married no. for 60 years, but I just, I, I still, I don't yeah. think that that kind of love exists anymore. And I think it's sad. I, I think. The reason why I want it is because I want I kind of want the challenge because I I know how I know what to do and what not to do mm-hmm. and I know that it takes a lot to actually keep a relationship together. I know I have um my loyalty to whoever I'm with is very strong. Mm-hmm. So, I mean everybody doesn't deserve that though and how Everybody do you... does not deserve that. You're absolutely mm-hmm. right. Yeah. But there is a, there is somebody who will everyone when you find him i hope you got a brother or a cousin or something like that i just feel like and it's sad that i'm at this stage but at my age i feel like all the good men like all the russell wilson's are married or in relationships i felt the exact same way when i was like at your age I yeah felt the exact same way i was going through the exact same moment you were like going through a breakup and then like just trying to figure it mm-hmm. out I was feeling like, well, you know, I'm 32, 33 now, and you know what's left out there. Scraps. Yeah, what is left? Scraps. This is. The I mean, thing where are y'all I think at? We have to make a choice. I think at some point you have to make a choice to say, I'm not going to be pessimistic about this. I've been through this. I've been through this. I've been through this. But I believe, and I will have faith that it's. I there. do try to manifest love in my life. I yeah, do. I think it's important, and that's why I put a lot of love out famous. into the universe because I want all the good karma. You know yeah. what I mean? Um, and I've been lucky thus far. I so. think but we manifest that love for yourself. Yeah. First. I have it, and that's yep. the thing. I love myself a lot. Yeah. I think we, we attract the energy we put out, though. So mm-hmm. if we if, if women not but a lot of women, fuck boys are attracted men, to that shit too. But we show to men careful. how to treat us. Exactly. I'm just saying you gotta be careful because a lot of dark shit is attracted to light shit, and Which when you true. got that light, mm-hmm. a lot of dark's gonna come your way, and you gotta learn how to energy how leeches. To turn. Yeah. Yep. But I think I think if if you walk around if, if we as women walk around like these men ain't shit and it ain't gonna be shit and love doesn't exist then that's what we're gonna find that's what's gonna come to us <sighs> yeah because you can speak things into existence yeah mm-hmm. but that's a, like i feel like we as women show men how to treat us like we show by everybody. by treating ourselves highly yeah. i think i think we show anybody we come in contact with whether it's relationships or friends or family we teach them how to treat us mm-hmm Damn, so I can't do. twerk anymore. I got to... Uh, if you want a husband, girl, no. Stop. <laughs> you want a husband, you better stop twerking. <laughs> twerk in the bedroom and that's it. Well, yeah, I want, I want to twerk on my man's face. I saw, this <laughs> mood. I saw this interesting comment earlier and it was talking about how like we think because men are online liking certain kinds of Instagram pictures or Facebook pictures, you know, they're liking the body and the face and the this and the that that that's what they want at home Mm -hmm. and it was these men were having this conversation and they were like i might like those pictures but there's nothing else behind that but a pretty face and a nice body he said i'm over here hanging out with the girl that might not have the perfect shape but she's the most wonderful woman Mm -hmm. and Mm -hmm. like they would they were having a conversation on what the generation now is is looking at as far as what they're even looking for in relationships are you just looking for the bad bitch and you know what i, I mean think oh, a lot I, of I men have that. now found like um like i know men my age a lot of them look at this younger generation like ew like you know what i mean i don't mm-hmm. i could never mm-hmm. but a lot of them like to test the waters and then they find out that that they just trying to fuck i feel mm-hmm. like that's what that is i feel like they just want to be like let me go fuck one of these young girls let me go fuck one of these bad bitches with the fat ass and the bbl and the this and that but they're not going to wipe that down there's a reason mm-hmm. if your entire life is focused on that what else do you have are you bringing intelligence are you bringing mm-hmm. loving spirit are you bringing kindness are you bringing you know like mm-hmm. there's nothing else there so when you get these women they were talking about how like one of their exes was like oh that's who the fuck you left me for that's the bitch you left me for. because she didn't look like her well yeah because she treats me 
the way I want to be treated, mm, mm. you know? And they were, she were brings having, that peace. Exactly. And it was like this, it was an interesting conversation. You can't ask for peace have. when you're giving me chaos. Mm -hmm. That's true too. Mm -hmm. You can't, Cause there's you know a lot, I mean? there's like, a lot of men that actually leave their homes to think and think they're going to find peace. And actually they jump into a bunch of chaos and they end up in chaos. Uh -huh. yeah. Preach on that. Because mm -hmm. when I tell you, that's kind of just what I just went through too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I me was just kind of sitting back like, ah, ah. Mm -hmm. ah dummy mm -hmm. like that's, that's just how i looked at it you get mm -hmm. yes break basically because mm -hmm. it's like the 80 20 rule yeah. yep it looks good mm -hmm. but is it good for real and then mm -hmm. they sit in it and see that it's not good and then yep. where do they come back to and just like in well, that movie they back, right. girl they can't stay away exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and just like in that Get movie like three or four to replace them yeah that's right i'm okay with that no. Look, I'm, a, I'm, I don't have that I'm, kind of time. I'm definitely okay with that. I don't, that. I don't, I don't cool. at this age. I don't really want to. I don't want to waste too much time. No, like I don't. Time is not. That's no, 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 it's no. Not we're, not going, we're not going to keep wasting time. time. So that side. meme is wrong. So anyway, absolutely wrong. Absolutely, absolutely wrong. Uh, Are you going to uh, sneeze? No. Oh, I, I was thinking about something. I'm sorry. I'm thinking about. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do tell. No, I was, it was just a moment. We need a story today. We didn't get a story out of you. What happened? I don't have any stories. Yeah, you do. Except for when I almost died. I don't have oh, none. God, I'm, 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 that. that shit was funny. That was funny. It I was. was crying. <laughs> Bonnie's face. She was like. <laughs> Bonnie was laughing at me the whole time. And that's <laughs> fucked up, yo. Listen. <laughs> that shit was so funny. Listen. Should I tell it? That's up to you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so everybody, I'm going to tell my story. We got enough time? Yeah. I almost died this past week <laughs> because I accidentally uh, swallowed a boric acid <laughs> suppository pill. She thought she was taking her probiotic. I thought probiotic. I was taking my probiotic, and I realized what the fuck I did, and I was like, oh, shit, Google. <laughs> right? So I Googled it. Wrong thing to do. And it said death, and I just panicked. I said, oh, shit, I'm going to die. Call the girls. Call the girls. <laughs> she called us, and she was like, am I going to die? And we're just crying. I'm just was like. <laughs> I said, I made myself throw up. I think I want. She said, did it all come out? I said, I don't know. I think so, but I'm going to die. <laughs> I was like, did you get it all out? And she's, like, looking through it like. I think so. I'm like, no, I need you to be sure. Like, <laughs> and then when she said that, I thought for sure I was going to die. She was like, the box says that you could die within six months. So that's six probably, months I'm going to die. That's probably if you eat the whole damn pet. <laughs> but then you called the doctor's office. And the doctor, yo, the nurse was laughing at me. And then here comes her the next day. I'm still dealing with the after effects. Yeah. <laughs> My throat was burning. I told her, I said, you going to have acid reflux like a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that shit was so funny. Anyway, yeah, that was my that was <laughs> that was your story. You have to have a story every week. She always does. There's always something. The life it. and chronicles of Vixen. I'm telling you, I, I, if 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 I had a camera that followed me around, and I didn't know it was there. Mm -hmm. I probably would be a rich person right now. Listen, cause life be lit. Uh huh. I'm telling it's you, weird. I'm it's telling weird. you, life it's is weird. weird. Shit happens all day. Every I fall day. down the step like every other day. No, I can't. I, listen, I haven't fall. Every other day, I literally fall. I was going to say, you better not. Because I'm clumsy as hell. I fall down the steps. I, I remember I fell out. I fell down here, and Billy looked. That turned around and was like, yo. <laughs> <laughs> and I fell. I fell coming up these steps the one time carrying a big-ass bowl of pasta salad, and Tanya was behind. I was like, oh. She was like, oh, slow motion. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get to our next our topic. Next topic um so ladies there was a, a there was a, a tweet yes. and a gentleman is asking this question and he's directing it to us because i'm assuming that he had something happen or whatever I assume so. so the tweet was ladies if sex is going to be a chore for you why why do y'all push monogamy hmm <laughs> Do you want to answer real quick? <laughs> Hold on, we're Say your piece really quick. Because I know you got to go. Okay. So, <laughs> I feel like we don't push monogamy unless it's offered to us. Mm. Unless it's offered to us. Because I can't ask for what you're not offering to mm -hmm. give me. You know what I mean? So, if you accept that, 
I mean, it shouldn't be a chore, and it won't be a chore if you guys don't fuck up. No, I ask for monogamy every time. I if there's should. not monogamy, I, I there's want, nothing. There's nothing. I'm not, yeah, where well, you're not fucking me and somebody so, else. So my question is to the gentleman who actually tweets. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, Bonnie. Welcome back, Bonnie. <laughs> and I'm sure my voice is You look different. real different. <laughs> um, so is he actually saying that monogamy is a chore? I don't think that's what he meant. But it's that's what it sounds like to me. So this was the comment since you were coming in. So this man had tweeted. He said, if sex is going to be a chore for women, why do y'all push monogamy? That's a good point. I See, I don't think that's the situation. If your woman is bored with your sex life and she's not giving you buns on a regular, that sounds like a personal problem. That's, that, I don't think that has to I think I think that's, yeah, yeah, because... I've never had that issue. Like I've never exactly. had someone that was like, <laughs> like look oh, at those cheese right. over there. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, like it's never ever ever That's been what there. I'm <laughs> yeah, like if your woman is acting like sex is a chore with you, then yeah. you need to look at what you you're need to doing step wrong. your game up. Like I, I mean, there's a couple of sex stores. I know there's sex stores at every shopping center. Like you can go buy some I toys to spice it up. Just boring in bed. I mean, same with women. There are some women that just lay there and don't yeah, do anything. Yeah, so can know? it be vice versa? Yeah. Like why are y'all pushing monogamy on me and it's a chore for, like sex is a chore. I think part of the problem is like when you go into a relationship, it might feel spicy in the beginning because it's new and it's fresh. Mm. You know, you get into your monogamous relationship, you guys are happy, but then the sex falls off. Now she's looking at it like a chore because she's not getting what she needs in the bedroom. You're still busting your nuts, so you're thinking everything's great, and you don't understand why she's like. Or, Especially or if he's not doing the stuff that he used to do, and she's like, you know what? I don't feel like fucking you no more because you don't you don't fuck me the same. Exactly, you're not or fucking sometimes me. Sometimes right. life, you know, women go through things, right? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, yeah. like women, tired. kids, job, yeah. tired. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you might be going through something physically. Like you know what I mean? Like who knows? You know, I actually thought that I would be like that after I had kids and had work and stuff like that, but I have a still have a high sex drive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, excuse me. <laughs> Glad I was sharing something. <laughs> it's not a secret. <laughs> I just I don't I don't think the two go hand in hand. Like just because I'm acting asking for a monogamous relationship doesn't mean I'm going to be you know. Acting That's why like I said what I said. Is like is he is point. he saying that actual monogam being monogamous is a chore? Like because it's like. It doesn't make sense. I think if if you're in a, a monogamous relationship and you are denying your man sex and he cheats, that's partly on you. Absolutely, I agree with yeah. you. I agree with you completely. Mm-hmm. I've, I feel like both parties need to hold up their end in the relationship. Like if you're not meeting my sexual needs and I'm not meeting your sexual needs, we need to have a conversation mm-hmm. and figure some shit out or go our separate ways. Yeah. I don't think it's an excuse to cheat. You need to have that conversation. But, yeah, you own some blame in that if he turns out and goes and, you know, finds it someplace else. I think a woman does own responsibility in that situation. You're denying him. You're not giving him what he needs. And he's telling you, then, yeah, like, that's that's kind of your fault. Especially if you're yeah. dealing with a sex addict. You better get this shit. Mm. If sorry, you're dealing with sorry, a sex sorry. addict and you're denying that man's sex, I think that you would have no choice but to assume he's going to go out and get it because yeah. he's an addict. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I'm not an addict, but I, I would be. Um, it w- life would be more difficult if I wasn't getting it on a regular. You know, <laughs> like, life would like be difficult. Be like ass. it like, would be yeah. difficult for anybody who just not getting any type of buns. Yeah, I, I just, I don't, I think in that moment though, if you're, if sex is like a chore for you in your relationship, then you need to have a conversation about it. You don't automatically just go out and cheat. And I think that's what he's trying to say. Like, well, right. if I'm not getting it at home, why are y'all so pressed about monogamy? Because I'll just go out someplace else and get it. Yeah. That's, I think that was the point he was trying to make. And you're a cornball for that, sir. It really is. Because I'm sorry, <laughs> but if your woman is bored with you in bed, then y- you need to look at you. Mm-hmm. And not only that, but if your woman's denying you sex and that's an issue for you, then leave her. Exactly. I feel like nobody ever does but that. But he, like he had a small PP anyway. He probably did. But I feel like people don't do that anymore. <laughs> Nobody just leaves. Nobody just breaks up. Nobody wants to break they, up. No they cheat or they find somebody else to replace you so that they don't have to be alone in between. Or and nobody's healing their issues mm-hmm. and healing their traumas. Or, or and they'll just stop talking to you or be as mean ghost. as possible. Yes. And, yeah, Rather than like being Nobody an wants adult. to just 
<laughs> tell tell you like I don't want to be with you. Anymore. Yeah, like yeah. I'm I'm just done here, and we're just gonna go our separate ways. Like I you don't want to fuck me, so it's over. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's, I the, that's the adult way to handle it. it yeah, and yeah. I, you gotta I, be I blunt like and straightforward happen. nowadays with people because mm-hmm. they don't understand. But then we're just called cutthroat and savage and then bitches in the end. Yeah, or, st- or stuck up or... Yeah, there's always some kind of excuse in there. That's the funny thing, too, is that everybody is so... They, they cut people off so quick, but then they really be in their feelings about it. Like, people people act like they don't want relationships, but they still have the feelings of mm-hmm. wanting to be in a relationship. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you still be in your... Even men. Mm-hmm. Men act like, like they can't act like they... like. Especially like the twenty somethings and the thirty somethings, they act like they like the, it's 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 not cool to have feelings for for a woman. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it's that's, like yo, what, that's weird. You mm-hmm. can't. It, it's okay. F- like that's who you're supposed. I would hope that you would have feelings for a woman because they act like it means that they're a simp if they show any kind of emotion, and that's not the truth. That's mm-hmm. not that's not the reality of life. Like you can be an emotional man. Not a, not. I don't need a crying ass bitch. Like let, let's just make that clear. But you can be a man in touch with his emotions and know how to communicate them and know how to control them. That's what makes a man. They're they're too busy looking up to the futures. You know what I mean? Like the the guys that are having baby after baby after baby, baby mama after baby mama after baby mama. I think and they look up to him and he what what does say they have he has seven broken homes and yet and still they're calling Russell Wilson a cornball. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think um I lost my thought. <laughs> <laughs> I think that that uh, people don't like social media played a big part in in it because people are actually getting embarrassed online. Mm. Just the, the same way with fights. Like that's why these yeah. young kids don't want to fight no more. That's mm-hmm. why they want to shoot and, and do because mm-hmm. nobody wants to get embarrassed. Nobody wants to get put on world star, get knocked mm-hmm. out. Same thing in these relationships. You're seeing like. Uh, people get cheated on online mm-hmm. like you might get caught on cameras and, that, mm-hmm. and everybody's afraid of looking stupid in front of the world so you got to act like you don't care mm-hmm. when it's in a it's in a person's natural ability to love like you know what I mean like, right. like mm-hmm. it we we are caring people but it's okay to change the so you're narrative trying, like you're mm-hmm. trying to be something that that we ain't like we right. we are supposed to care and you're acting like you don't because you don't want to be embarrassed I but feel i think like yeah, like all these kids, like it's almost like they're trying to indoctrinate each other to make it that way. Like, let's make it so that nobody cares. Mm-hmm. Let's make it so that because that w- I, uh, like I agree with you completely that way. When I get my heart broken, mm-hmm. I can I just be like, I never cared about that yeah. bitch and just go on about my day. When in actuality, you're going to go home and cry. In yes. the and, you're still, and you're still mm-hmm. texting her. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Acting crazy. It was just, yeah. you know, I didn't mean it like that. You yeah. Know, so you know, it's I like, you don't, you, don't, you don't take me back. I'm going to kill myself. Oh, that one drives me yeah. fucking crazy. I can't stand that. I can't stand when somebody does that. I cannot stand that. Yo, listen, I think every young man, and, and I, this, I'm not, this isn't a, uh, uh, making fun of suicide. I, I'm saying, like, I think every man has used that line at least once in their life. Uh, yeah, I did probably. as a teenager, for yeah. sure. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I was definitely in high school. Like, did it work? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it, did. <laughs> it absolutely did. It did. <laughs> and that's oh. why men keep doing it. <laughs> oh, that's not right. No, it's, I, yeah, no. I mean, I, I used that been. line too. I did. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> used that. I think. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> did it work? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't work. You know, sometimes it don't. Sometimes you got. You, <laughs> when you be in your yeah, feelings, you be spitballing. You just be listen. You know I'm, I'm gonna say whatever. Yeah, like just whatever comes out your mouth. Then you think about it later. Like, did I say that shit? <laughs> Yes, yes, you did. You say some yes, of the wildest did. shit when you're when you're upset. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I just I feel like it's it's gotten to a point now where people are just trying to build the image like, oh, we don't want men out here that act like Russell. We don't want men out here that behave like that. Let's all behave like futures, and then these women have no choice but to tolerate that behavior because there's nothing else for them. Like being being a good husband who not only took care taking care of your own kid you're taking care of your stepchild mm-hmm. uh you bought your all your woman's masters back um so now she's the owner of that all her own music. Like, mm-hmm. all that shit is simp shit 
I don't understand. I don't that's understand it. That's that's an alpha. That's an that's, alpha male that right it. there. Like, yeah. I think it's because it's the sad. way he looks. They they think. I mean, he, he has can't dress. He dresses like somebody. I think he dresses nice. Old, it's retired. not even just that. It's it's that we are trained, even our generation. So I'm not even just putting this on the kids. We are trained to praise toxicity mm-hmm. in every aspect. We 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 run towards violence. We run towards all of our favorite shows, the most popular shows throughout all of our lives have always had sex and violence on it. Mm-hmm. That's true. All of them. Yeah. Like, and not saying the sex is bad. Even the cartoons. But the kind right. of sex we see in, like. Mm-hmm. But the over-sexualization, I mean, if you start seeing sex at an early age, you're going to get more curious and more curious, and then that whatever, it, it's what happens with addicts. Like, mm-hmm. you see, if you see sex too early, then it's like, okay, well, I saw a missionary. What's next? Mm-hmm. Oh, I saw this. What's next? And then the next thing you know, you're in 25 years old sucking somebody's dick in a gas station. Well, I didn't like, do that part. You know <laughs> what I'm saying, though? Like, I was you looking until you like got there. The deep end. <laughs> I knew this guy when we were younger. I knew this guy, and he was, he was that kind of guy where he was so so over sexualized and we just knew he had literally ran through every female we knew he was just such such a sexual person we he was that type i was like there's gonna come a day where you're gonna be doing some wild shit Mm -hmm. because you've reached your limit on the normal Mm -hmm. and you're gonna keep wanting to find something more and something more and something more he's he's gonna be at like orgies and And that's why you see those like sexual d like there's there's a there's a large population of people who can't get off on regular sex. They have to do extra It has shit. to be like something wild. He's in jail right the, now, so I think he's the, learning some new tricks. I'm putting my mic down. <laughs> I'm going to turn this down. Oh, you part of that population? <laughs> Let's talk about it. <laughs> Go ahead. It's story time with, it's story time with Vixen. <laughs> no. Story time. No? Okay. Are you part of that population, though? I, I, I would say that I am part of that population. I don't go to the extreme, but I definitely have to do a little bit more than the usual. Yeah. I mean, I think having your your preferences. Or yeah, like I mean, I know fetishes. what I want. I know what I want. Yeah. Are you open about that with everyone that you're with? Like, do they know that you ha- need certain things? Yeah. As long as they're I mean, I, mean, I, I, I have to be honest. I mean, I... I hey, yo, this, this regu- that, that, that regular stroke is not going to work, my guy. It's yeah, not going to work. I need, I need you to do some <laughs> Superman shit. Like, <laughs> like, you know, not so much Superman, but it's like I just have, you know, my thing. You, you know, have I, your desires. I have my desires. I like trying different stuff. Yeah. And if you're not with it... It's not like, wrong. Like, I think yeah. we all have our things. You yeah, know yeah I mean? but yeah. I'm like a little above average. <laughs> I mean, I guess. She said I'm a little wild. Yeah, she said, "Can be a shot glass." <laughs> I think that's probably why I'm still single. No, I, so I, I can't. Don't I mean, there's, there's, I, nobody can keep up, really. I think most men would find that appealing, though, because it would be yeah, like excitement every so. time. <laughs> you know, like when it, it, it would be exciting and something different. It's, it's like exciting. You'd be keeping them on their toes. It's, it's, it's exciting in the beginning. It's it's borderline is scary exciting until some. life happens. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then it's like I don't have the energy today. And also, I don't know what she's talking about, <laughs> but. I know when the relationship starts, we're 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 getting it in multiple times a day. Mm-hmm. Then life happens, and mm-hmm. then it becomes you know maybe once a day, mm-hmm. and then it's once every couple of days, mm-hmm. and then once a week. Mm-hmm. And if you have one person that needs still needs it multiple times every day, and the other person like, yo, I got a job. Like, what are you, what are you talking about? yeah, <laughs> L- lunch break. <laughs> <laughs> Like, can we get a nooner? Yeah, you know, nooner come on quick. now. <laughs> I, I mean, listen, I ain't mad. Uh, so you, there's, there, you haven't found anyone that can keep up. I have not. Is that the reason why your relationships ain't working? Probably. <laughs> do you feel like? <laughs> Probably. I but mean, from I, like your perspective, though, do you feel like when you're in a relationship, are you getting what you need from like the last serious relationship? The last, in? the last, the last guy that I was with, it was, um, it was, you know, I, yeah. I was, I was content, mm-hmm. you know, because we, he liked to try stuff, and I was like, oh yeah, 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 but then it was like I found out the, mm-hmm. the bullshit and stuff like that. Broke my heart a little bit, but you know, revenge is. So anyway, funny. have you ever tried to like go on one of them like uh, the site the sites like the fetish sites and you tell them exactly specifically what you want so the person that's coming to you wants something specific like they know what you want and they would that that's like a very efficient way to find a partner though. I mean, I, I mean, I've heard of doing that, but I'm kind of scared too. I, 
I, I don't know, because, I mean, you don't know exactly who you're going to get. No, you yeah. never do. You know what I'm saying? But, and but I, do you when you meet them in person? I get, t- I, I mean, I get to know them. You know what I'm saying? Like it's Same way you could do online. I know, but online is kind of... See, online dating just doesn't appeal to me. I don't, I don't, I don't, so I don't like doing. On, Listen, yeah. I'm trying to get Hollywood off of social. Like it dating. just, yes, I'm not here for it. There's, <laughs> yeah. you don't know who's on the other end at the end of the day. You don't know what story they're selling you. And for some, for so some unnatural. reason, I'm the type of person that likes to kind of like spring it on you. I don't, I don't, I mean. But that's why you're scaring these these dudes away. <laughs> I. I <laughs> Like, surprise. <laughs> like, wait a minute. I, I, I didn't sign up for that shit. <laughs> like, where'd that come from? <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe you're right. <laughs> we might have found the problem. <laughs> Can't just spring that kind of shit. You gotta, you know what I mean? I mean, I, I, I do, you know, tell them, you know, that I like doing, you know, different stuff in the bedroom and stuff like that. But I guess it's like when it actually comes out, they're, they're they like. They ain't really about that. Because I feel like a lot yeah, of women because, say yeah, that. Yeah, because it's like they say, oh, yeah, I can do this. I can do that. And stuff like that. But then when it, is when it, just it boils that, down to it, it's like they don't. Is it just that uh, the, like the, you I like feel like to, I'm being interviewed now. <laughs> I'm trying to word it right. So is it just that you, you it's a, a lot that you want to do it? Or is it that you like some wild shit? I'm into some wild shit. Oh, so you just scaring these dudes away. That's that's what it is. I, I mean, I Okay. <laughs> She's like, I gotta yeah. I gotta absorb that. <laughs> but you know what? I think I think did, that happens. Do though. you have like shit that you be pulling out? Like, yo, check it. No, I mean not all the time, but most of the time. <laughs> and with no warning? No, I mean I like you'll See, ease into that. Yeah, like yeah. I, I, I like being an open book. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like I try to just mm-hmm. let them know up front, like this is the type of stuff that I like. So can you handle? Keep up. Can you handle that? And they're they're normally like, yeah, I can. You know, mm-hmm. I like I'm into that stuff too. But then it's like when it gets down to the nitty gritty, they're like, oh shit. Because no man is gonna sit there. <laughs> like, no man is gonna sit there I and be like, no, uh, I can't handle that. Plus, they still want to hit. Yeah, no I man's gonna be know. like, no, I'm not. I'm Here's not the in. thing about men is they're gonna tell you whatever they gotta tell you. They'll tell mm-hmm. you they're the greatest thing. But mm-hmm. sometimes it don't even get to the hit part. Like you see what before. I'm saying? Like it doesn't even get to that part. It's like you know, it just doesn't. You know what though? I think well, that you know you go you on must, a date. You must be into some. I am. <laughs> you know when you. That's go on why a date I just like deal with people that are actually into that stuff. Like you know, yeah. but I don't. Do, you know. Yeah. I do yeah. favors for them. Yeah. So it just kind of. So it kind of like easier. it turns them on, but it turns me on because I'm doing favors for you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And. I think part of it is is like when <laughs> you go on. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> Like, when you go on a date with somebody, you know there's always, like, those kind of, like, standard questions when you're on a first date, you know, or second date, you might start talking about sex or third date or whatever. I think there's responses that everybody says. Mm -hmm. Like, everybody says they're a freak in bed. Everybody Mm -hmm. says, oh, I'm down for this. Mm -hmm. Everybody says, you know, you get the, what do I bring to the table? Oh, I, you know, everybody has their, like, standard responses. And then then the other person says, they're like, I hear that from everybody. Right. But then you get behind closed doors and they really don't have a fucking They had, don't have clue. no fucking clue. They have no clue. I think that might be what happened. Like, they're saying, like, oh, yeah, because they're not yeah. going to tell you no. They're not going to say I can't handle that. Is this y'all uh, history? Do most of the men that are really they're really about that life, they don't really talk about Because right? they don't need to. Nope. Yeah, they, they don't need to. In my entire life, a man that has said, those men that walk around like, I got a big dick. Blah 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 are usually the smallest and weakest yep. dick game you will ever have. Yep. The man that says and nothing, I've, and I've, because he yeah. doesn't need to brag. It speaks for itself. <laughs> yep. It's got a mind of its own. <laughs> like yeah. he doesn't need to walk around like I'm Mandingo. I got. Th-. Yeah. He doesn't need to because it it shows that's, on its that's own. The, that, that's the BDE the women be talking about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's true. Yeah, the ones that brag and constantly talk, oh, I'll blow you back out. No, you won't. No, you won't. I mean, I met somebody with, um, yeah, ED. Oh, shit. Like, he was, yeah. It was totally like, woo. Was he on drugs? No, I don't think so, but it was, he just, he just wasn't there. Oh, no, he just wasn't there. Hmm. 
it was there, saying. but it just wasn't there. I know? mean, there was that picture that got sent into our group chat earlier this week. You remember, you remember the movie Tremors? Mm-hmm. I swear to God, this dick reminded me of that worm. It was like... <laughs> it was scary. It was the scariest. I was like, who, who sent this to us? That, like, was, that was, I mean... Mm-mm. Probably it was have, terrifying. You, I mean, Nah, that was never in the mind. Table in, in our group chat, in our text. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, I don't. In our text chat. I was like, this is weird. I don't know what I'm looking at, but it was scary. Mm-mm. It was scary. <laughs> All right, ladies, since we have Bonnie over here I now. I was going to say, well, we thank Bonnie for doing her wardrobe thank change you, and turning into she Mr. Podcast. And here we got it. <laughs> And we did it. Episode number 32. We got it done. In the books. Thank you for filling in. Of for course, us. of course. Aww. We appreciate you, Shug. Boss man over here. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to run down. We have uh, May 28th. We have yeah. the play. There are two showings, 3 p.m. and 8, 8 p.m. Yep. Uh, make sure you get your tickets for that before they're sold out. And you can't, so make sure you get them. And I Hollywood you said you can bring the side chick to the first one yes. and bring the main joint to the evening yeah. show. Yeah. Don't side listen, chicks but to the three you can try. I mean, let's, no, no. let's just not. That's, that's, <laughs> let's but just not. I did say don't take advice from Hollywood. No. <laughs> <laughs> Might not be your safest bet. Don't All of your the, main chicks are going to show up at the matinee, yeah, just so you know. Up. Don't yep. act up at our show. Uh-uh. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. And then I know there's other stuff coming later. Yeah, there's a lot of announcements coming yeah. soon. Coming soon. So we just keeping it, it pushing. Right, Thirty-two in the books. We'll see you guys next week. The week after. Week after. Oh fucking <laughs> Easter! I forget. I'm a <laughs> terrible Catholic. <laughs>